Hey, what's up, my people? Yeah, all welcome back to um, this is Apare. For those of you who seeing me for the first time, if you are here to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to do that. Then you can also click on the notification bell so, in case I put um, any video, you get notifications. Um, there is this um, one sided, um, one side sided cow boo, then the other side fitted gown. You know, don't mind, don't mind my drawing. It's actually horrible, but just to I'm just putting this here to just to explain better what I'm trying to say. By the time you see the picture, you understand what I'm trying to say. This is how it looks like. Actually, by the time you put it on, the whole image will be different. But I'm just putting this here to illustrate better. So if you want to get something like this, all you need to do is let me try to explain using the this diagram you know assuming this is um let's assume you're using four yards of fabric or maybe three yards of fabric so actually if you're cutting um all this kind of um what is it called cow bubu cow captain you usually um we usually make use of um four yards so that you it will be big you understand then you'll be able to achieve those cow stuffs at the side so now Assuming this is your fabric folded into four, you understand because you're cutting both the front and the back together, so you are folding it into four. So, what did I mean by folding into four? Let me show you. You know, this is what I mean by folding into four. You know, this one is folded into two, it's folded into two like this. So, you fold like this again. You understand? You fold like this again. You know, this is into four already. So, meanwhile. You see the way it is folded, but it's not as if maybe you fold two, then you fold another two on it again. No, you are going to fold it two like this, then you fold it two, making it four. You understand? Then it will be equal this side. Your fabric will be equal this side. You understand? Fold um fold it into four equal sides. Sure you get. So that is the way you're going to do it. So after that now. So let's assume we've already folded um the fabric into four. This is the fabric folded into four. This is where it all ends, and this is the full length that we're using. So all you need to do is slant your shoulder, 1.5 inch here. You slant your shoulder. So after slanting the shoulder, now all you need to do is take your shoulder measurement. You're going to take your mark your shoulder measurement divided by two. You can just add um that half inch allowance for the joining. So shoulder measurement divided by two. From this point, measure the seven inches downward. That is going to be for the armhole. Jig it. So now from here, you are going to measure, get your boss point. Get your waist point. In this case, you don't necessarily need your underboss. Just use your waistline instead of the underboss. That is from your shoulder boss point. From your shoulder, you get your um, waist point. That is waistline. Then from your shoulder again, you get your hip line. Then from your shoulder again, you get your knee line. So you need these four lines: bust, waist, hip, then knee. So after getting all this one now, after marking all these lines now, you are going to uh, take your what is it called bust measurement divided by four. You can you know it's not it's not going to carry zip definitely. So all you need to do is just add maybe two inches to your actual body measurement. So if your bo if your bust is thirty eight, you add two inches to make it forty. Then you divide by that forty by four. Then uh, you don't yeah plus two inches allowance yeah. So let's assume this is the um bust measurement divided by four. Then plus two inches so in allowance. You do the same thing on your waistline. Do the same thing on your hip line. You understand? Then you do the same thing on your knee line. I believe we all know how to get this knee line now. That is um minus six inches from your hip measurement to get your knee measurement. But don't forget that we um whatever measurement you're using here, you're adding two inches to the actual body measurement. That is aside from the allowance that you're adding now. So just connect, connect like this, then get your arm hole. You understand? Get your arm hole. Then from this um knee stuff, just go down. Whatever you have on your knee line, just go down like that. 
So now we are through with one side of the measurement. So meanwhile, if you are going to cut this now, you are not going to cut the whole four fabrics. No, you know, you will fold it into four. So if you want to cut this shape, now you are going to cut the first two. You understand? We are cutting out the first two. We are not going to cut the whole four um, fabric that we folded. You are cutting out the first two. So after cutting out that first two now, you know you are still going to have this uh, remaining two here. So that is when you will now come here. Because your sleeve is coming, your hand is coming out from this part. From this last edge. So you are going to measure either eight or seven inches here. That is going to be for your round sleeve. That is where the hand is, um, the hand is going to come out from. So after that now, you are going to cut like this. Sorry, you are going to mark like this. You come down straight, you come down straight. So when you get to this, your um, you know, this is the you have to roll this line complete so that you know what you're doing. This is the hip line. So all you need to do now is just from here, just cough. When you get to that hip line, you cough to your knee line like this. Then you meet up with this place and you go down straight. The same shape. So meanwhile, this is where the uh this is the sorry, this is the round sleeve. This is the round sleeve. That is where the hand will come out from. If you like, you can make um your hand can come out from this part too. You understand? This could be your round sleeve, then this could be your round sleeve. But in this case, we are working with this place. This um your sleeve is coming out from here. So that is it. So now from here, just take the neck around neck measurement. Depend on how wide you want it and how deep you want it. You can use four four. You can use three three. But in this case, let's assume we're using four four. So you are cutting out like this. So after this one now, definitely you should know how to how we cut our basic sleeve. Five inches here. Then you curve to this place. Then take your round sleeve measure. Take your bicep measurement divided by two. Your round sleeve measurement divided by two. Then that is it. So this one now you are fixing this one on this um fitted side. Then this other one, you are joining the shoulder to this part. You leave this place open when you sew it then you sew this place downward then this side the the the, the left side no sorry the right side that will now be the bubble cow then this other side will be fitted so if i show you how to do it on fabric you understand what i'm saying better so as i described um previously in that diagram if you look at this now this is the shoulder slanting um your boss line your waistline the hip line then the knee line and this is the full length i believe i've already showed you how to get those lines so this is um the fabric this is the way you fold it the way i showed you you are going to fold it into four equal parts so what, what i was trying to explain the other time is you are not going to place them on each other like this no, it's not going to work that way. All you need is just fold them together into four equal parts. So now you're going to take your shoulder measurement divide by two. You can add just half inch for this one. Then take your arm hole measurement. Take your arm measurement. You know this is a pattern, so we can actually use up to seven inches here. So I'm using six. To your bust measurement, you're going to have just like I said, you're going to have two inches to your actual body measurement. Then you divide by four, normal way of dividing. Then you had your two inches so in allowance. You are going to do the same thing on the waistline. Add two inches to your number actual measurement divided by four then plus the two inches so in allowance the same thing on the hip line measurement divided by four plus the sewing allowance so whatever you have on your hip uh, measurement you are going to minus six inches and you mark it on your knee line that is the standard way of getting a knee measurement you divide it by four to whatever you have there then you had um, your sewing allowance. 
so you connect it this way then from this knee part just go down straight so try to blend this place so that it won't be too sharp so curve your arm all circumference like this so here you are going to determine whatever you want to use on the neck either two three whatever measurement you want to use just you mark it there and any kind of shape you want also so cut this out you know just like i said the other time now you are going to cut the first two you're going to cut the first two so you're going to cut it this way we are not cutting the four fabric no we are cutting just the first two so we are done with um the left side don't forget your shoulder slant in here we are done with the left side now so now we want to work on the right side of the dress complete these um two lines the hip and the knee one so from this part now you are going to measure either 7 or 8 inches that is where your hand is going to come out from you can also measure it from the upper part but in this particular uh, style we are working with your hand is coming out from this part as the round sleeve make it 8 inches so that it won't be too tight so all you need to do now is just mark like this go down straight so when you get to the hip line you curve you curve to the knee line just like this so when you get to that knee line now then you go down straight so this is it that is the right part of the dress so now by the time you open it this is what it's going to look like this is what it's going to look like so all you need to do now is just join this um your body measurement on this side join your shoulder then join this other place to up to this place then don't forget your eight inches for the round sleeve then you are going to leave that open you are going to leave this part open then you are going to sew like this so like this up to the um the down part Then you empty the down, then you, you also pipe the neck. So after when you might have done everything, if you look at the dress well, very well, they pinch it somehow. So you can just pinch anywhere around the bust area like this. That is from inside. Just pin, pinch it, then you tag it down to apply that effect there. If you also want to leave it straight, you can just leave it without um, the pinching. So this is it. It is very simple. So now I'm cutting the um the pencil sleeve, the normal basic sleeve. Just measure your five inches here. Then you cough to that five inches. I think I've already we've already done a video on how to cut a basic sleeve like this. So I don't think we should have a problem cutting that again. So take your bicep measurement divided by two. Don't forget your arm or circumference here too. Then take your round sleeve, connect it together, then add um whatever allowance you want to add to it, either one or half inch. Then our dress is ready. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you next time.